Welcome to EVO 10 ECU Flash Training Part 26. In this video, we're going to be exploring using our SD card logging option with our Tactrix 2.0 cable. This is going to allow us to have remote data logging without having our laptop connected to our EVO 10. This is an alternative way to data log and capture our data rather than using our laptop using our EVO Scan software. I'm going to go through all the details associated with setting up the remote logging using our SD card. There's a lot of little details we need to cover. I provide it in our training course packet all of the data or the file sets that you need to use particular to the model year or the market evo that you have in order to make this remote logging option work there's a lot to cover let's jump into our video so we can get started learning about our sd card logging okay so let's get started we're going to be taking a look at working with our SD card data logging with our Tactrix 2.0 cable for our evo 10 applications this gives us an alternate way to data log not using our laptop so if we don't want to have a laptop constantly around us in the car we can use this as a remote logger and log to an sd card and pop the sd card out take a look at those logs at any point in time this is super super convenient you are in control of how many channels you're logging um, the logging rate is a little bit slower than using a laptop connected to evoscan but it is still a great way to capture the data especially if you're on a long road trip and you just don't have your laptop connected you don't want to constantly drive around your car with a laptop connected this is going to be um, definitely something that you probably want to implement so a few things that we need to have happen here first you need to have an SD card, a micro SD card to be in fact, you'll find you have a little slot on your Tactrix 2.0 cable. That's where the micro SD card is going to be inserted. Now you can have as little as a one gigabyte SD card. Um, you can have as, as large as a terabyte SD card. That's completely unnecessary to have that large of a SD card. Something like a 16 or a 32 gigabyte SD card is relatively inexpensive. You can find them at Best Buy, order them on Amazon, um, and they're going to be more than sufficient. I've had an 8 gigabyte SD card in my Tactrix 2.0 cable, and I have about 8, 900 data logs on it, and I haven't filled it up yet for reference sake. So you don't need to go out and spend a lot of money on a huge size SD card. You can find something that's 5 or $10 and use it. So that's going to be something I wanted to mention. You don't have to spend a lot of money on having a, a really high capacity SD card. Second thing we need to do with our SD card is to go in and format it in the FAT32 type format. You'll find the smaller SD cards are oftentimes formatted in the FAT32 format. If it isn't, you're going to have to plug it into your laptop before you even plug it into your Tactrix cable or do anything with it. You're going to have to right click on it and then go into format and format it into the FAT32 type format that has to be done ahead of time or it will not work properly with our Tactrix 2.0 cable. So once you've done that, and that's what I've, I've done that ahead of time, I've already formatted my SD card a long time ago, um, you're right now ready to take the next step. So you're going to be plugging your SD card into your Tactrix 2.0 cable and then plugging that into your laptop. You do not want to have your Tactrix cable plugged into your vehicle at this time. This can be done completely out of the car. You don't need to be um, plugged in. In fact, you don't want to be plugged in or it will not work right. So what we're going to find here, if I go down in here to my folders, we can see here under my computer, Looking down here, I have my Evo logging, which is what I've named my SD card. I have that found here on this particular drive. It's probably gonna be called something different if you've named your SD card something different. Um, you'll find that you're gonna find that name here in your drop down menu. If I click on this, we can see here that there's nothing in my SD card, it's completely blank. So I've erased everything off the SD card. I had some videos and pictures. Make sure you take them off and clear them out because you cannot use this in, in, unless you have a completely blank SD card. Now the next thing we need to do is place some script into here and we're going to find that the folder we're going to be looking for here is found in our Tefra file and I've added this in here so if you've downloaded the Evo 10 course previous to watching this video go back in I've added the, another folder into our Evo 10 course and that's where we're going to find all the definitions that we need to have in order to make our SD card log remotely. So if we go down here, we're going to find that we have a folder called SD Logging Tactrix. This is where we find the script that we need to place into our folder here. So if we double click, we're going to find that I have the USDM files listed here for all the Evo 10. So MR or GSR, they're year specific for the logging channel. So we need to make sure you're selecting the correct year that you're working with. And then you'll find here that we do have a rally art application. Now I am going to be adding in um, some of the European domestic market and Asian domestic market uh, uh, types here for logging. So that'll be in here by the time you watch this video. I haven't gotten to that yet. If we take a look here. The vehicle I'm working with is going to be USDM 2010. That's what I've converted 
my ROM. This is a 2011 MR. I've converted it into a 2010. We've talked about that and why we want to convert 2011s either up or down in the model years because the 2011. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.